guys, I'm gonna be sharing what I'm eating today. The last time I did one of these videos, it was for my week-long vegan challenge, and that was one of the best things I've ever done. I loved it, and I am now vegan. So I'm gonna share these videos every once in a while with you, uh, or as often as you wanna see them. So let's start with breakfast this morning. I'm having a big bowl of berries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, they're delicious. And then I have my hydro flask of water, which I refill all throughout the day. And we also realized that we had some fresh ripe papaya that was ready to go this morning. So we had a couple of those also. And then Michael made some fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. And a little later on in the morning, I made a protein shake. So I'll just use one handful of ice and then one frozen banana and then almond milk. Almond milk is my favorite. It is so tasty. So I'll use this and I'll fill it up about where it matches however much frozen items I use so it kind of balances out. And then my Vega One protein powder, which is all completely plant-based protein powder. And I will tell you something. Oh, I'm also using some dates. But as far as like drinking this protein shake has gone, I've been drinking it for a while and my nails have grown like crazy. So I just wanted to put that out there. In case you have trouble with your nails, uh, you know, chipping, peeling, or just not growing very very fast. Try drinking a plant-based protein powder. It is amazing. So I usually make one of these protein shakes just about every day. Sometimes every other day, but I try to drink one every day. They're really good and I just feel like I have more energy when I'm drinking them. Now for lunch, Michael wanted to make these summer rolls. We get these at the health food store, but it's just like rice paper wraps and he soaks them in water for just a few seconds. Just kind of presses them down into the water and it's filtered water too that we're using. And then once those have kind of like loosened up, they're more pliable. And then these kelp noodles are really good too. And this is a raw food here. So this is just pure 100% kelp. And so he'll put like a handful of that on the rice paper and then some avocado and then cucumber. And so then he just grabs it into the wrap or the rice paper and then rolls it up, slices it in half and you are ready to go. And usually we'll eat like several of these each He'll also use a little bit of this plum sauce that we got at the health food store. So that's going to be our lunch, and so that's my plate. Michael has his own, and we will go through several rolls of these. They're so yummy. And he also added some extra cucumber on the side because I love just snacking on cucumber. It's just really tasty to just grab and have throughout the day. I'll eat it with hummus also sometimes. And I'm also going to have some of this 100% raw coconut water. I buy a pack of these at Costco every once in a while. It's nice to have fresh coconut whenever you can get them, but we can't always get them. We don't always have access to them, even out here in Hawaii. So sometimes I'll just get these. And it's so funny how it's naturally pink. I believe it has to do with the fennels in the raw coconut. So I definitely recommend trying this if you have not. It is the tastiest packaged coconut water I've ever had. And right now it's lychee season. So during lychee season, I will buy these at Costco or the farmer's markets and and I will have them in the house like 24 7 until the season's over and I'll eat a huge plate of them every single day they're really tasty and they have like this weird kind of outside skin they're kind of like this crazy like I don't know like dinosaur raspberry thing and you just peel off that skin and then inside is this white super juicy sweet kind of fleshy fruit and lychee are very similar to rambutans and long guns if you've ever had either of those. But they're very sweet and juicy and delicious, though they do have a little pit inside, so watch out for that. Okay, and now I'm going to be making this sort of sorbet. It's going to be like a green sorbet. So I'm just slicing uh, some lemon and some lime, and I'm going to be using the zest too. So it's going to be really good if you like lemon and lime zest. And then I'll just take out any of the seeds. Um, I'm going to use my blender, so I'm taking a handful of ice and then just one slice each of the lemon and lime with the zest and then a big handful of spinach. And Actually, we'll do a little bit more too. So you can just use as much as you want. And then a little bit of agave. I get this at Costco in a two pack. It's very affordable and it's really good as like an alternative sweetener. And then I'll just turn on the blender. It's not going to like, you know, whip up like super fast or anything. Um, so you got to kind of use your tamper and just like tamp down the ice and get the spinach to, you know, get down there into the blades and get it all blended up. But once you just get done like pressing it all down into the blades, it'll keep whipping um, and make it all icy. So it's going to be just like a sorbet, except it's going to be really healthy because it's going to be a green sorbet. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably like spinach sorbet. I don't think so. But you know what? I'm serious. Try this. It is freaking so good. The agave and the lemon and lime zest really make it. And that citrus is like the main kind of flavor to it. The spinach is just sort of extra for the vitamins and minerals, but you don't really taste it, you know? 
it's just a really great way to get more greens into your diet for the day. And then in the afternoon, I had some carrot juice, which this is 100% organic carrot juice. We get these at Costco every once in a while. It's really good and it just, I don't know, it's kind of a nice change from water, you know, all the time. Sometimes you want something a little different. And we're starting dinner early tonight, so I'm just peeling some sweet potatoes because I'm making pineapple sweet potato casserole tonight. And then I will throw them into a pot with water, put the lid on, and turn it on medium high. Let them cook or boil for about a half hour or so until they're nice and soft. And then I'll go ahead and mash them and then I will get to the pineapple. So I'll twist off the top of the pineapple, and I do that because I like to plant these. So Michael and I plant the pineapple out in our yard, and if you just peel off that, um, like those first few leaves, you'll see the roots kind of exposed there. They're really tiny, but you can see them. And then we'll just like jam it in the ground. Basically, that's it. Okay, random planting tip, back to the food now. Okay, so then I just uh, slice up the pineapple, throw them into the sweet potato, the mashed sweet potatoes, and then you can add some spices if you want. So I like to use cinnamon, that's one of my favorite spices to use. And then we'll also use some nutmeg. And then some ginger. And that just adds a little extra kick. And then some allspice. So really you can just kind of switch it around and play around with whatever spices you like best. But I like it to be kind of a warming, I don't know, just like a warm spiciness. I'll also add some cloves sometimes too. So usually I'll take two or three cloves because they're pretty powerful so you don't need a lot of these and then I'll just grind them up and add them into the sweet potatoes. And then I'll take the sweet potatoes, put them into a baking pan, preheat the oven to 400 and let them cook for about 20 minutes until they're kind of bubbly and slightly browning. So tonight we're making portobello mushroom steaks and these really are like steaks but it's completely vegan so we're only using the mushroom and then we add um, some marinating sauce so we'll use teriyaki. This coconut secret coconut aminos teriyaki sauce is really tasty. I buy this at Mana Foods. It's vegan, soy free, gluten free and then Michael will take some onion and garlic and dice that up and then throw that over the portobellos and then let them marinate just kind of uh, flip them around, stir them around a little, add a little more teriyaki sauce underneath so it can kind of soak in and marinate. And then I'm checking on my sweet potatoes and it looks like they're done. So that was just a quick 20 minutes for cooking those. And then Michael's adding some avocado oil to his pan to cook up the portobellas. So once the portobellas are done marinating, then he'll scoop them out of the bowl, drop them into the wok, and stir fry them for about maybe around 8 to 10 minutes, like just less than 10 minutes. So we'll leave those cooking in the pan and we'll make a salad. So we're going to make a uh, baby green salad with beets and then what else do we got? Uh, Sun-dried tomatoes and those are from Costco also. We do a lot of our shopping at Costco just because it's more affordable and you can get some really interesting items there and then four bean salad. So we'll just take a big handful of the baby greens and right about now is when I realized that someone snuck into the middle of my sweet potatoes. Right smack in the middle. Look at that. Yep, there he is, innocently slicing beets. Okay, so Michael's slicing up the beets and then adding some of that four bean salad. And then some sun-dried tomatoes. Then he added some grape tomatoes. And tonight I'm also gonna have some of this ginger ale. It's an all natural ginger ale that I got at Whole Foods. I really like ginger ale, so this is kind of like a treat. It's got coriander and cayenne rose oil. Um, it's just a really unusual kind of ginger ale, and it's only sweetened with agave. It's one that I'd actually like to learn to recreate at home, in fact, so I may have to try to do that in another video. We are ready to kick back, sit down, probably watch a movie, so I've got my sweet potato pineapple casserole, our vegan portobello steak, and a nice big salad. And then a little later on, I'm having some of this herbal red tea. There's no caffeine in it. It's made with rooibos tea. And then I'll also have some dates. I really like medjool dates. They're one of my favorite kind of, I guess, desserts to have. And so I'll just have like a little handful of these with my tea sometimes in the evening as a treat. All right, you guys, that was what I ate today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.